In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to use an image texture alpha channel. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well I'm going to assume you have a little bit of knowledge of working in Blender, but I'll go through some of the motions for those that are a little bit less experienced. Okay, but this is a model I've imported into Blender. Um, it's actually something you can do in Make Human, but the principle applies for all image textures. So as you can see here, there are some transparent parts. Also the eyebrows and eyelashes and the hair all have got transparent parts. And whether you're in the ordinary view or rendered view, doesn't work. Now what I would do is come over to the right hand side and select the render properties button and then select EV and change to cycles. Now again nothing's changed. So you can either go into shading or as I prefer through force of habit just drag this bar up and then select over here where it's the clock the shader editor now you need to be in cycles to do this then select select the dress now I'm gonna roll my mouse just to zoom in a bit now you can keep this principle BSDF or and change the sort of way the color works but I'm going to actually drag these over. I'm actually going to delete this, although like I said you can use it. And then come up to add and next to shader select say diffuse BSDF. Bring this in here. Go back to shader and select transparent back to shader again on by the add button and select mixed shader bring this in now connect the green dots by holding your left mouse button on them so from the mixed shader connect it to surface on materials the diffuse shader connect this into the mix shader and then the transparent one again into the shader connect the color to the diffuse shader and then connect the alpha to the fac and I've got this around the wrong way okay this should be the other way around so I'm going to just swap these over and as you can see, this has now worked. So to save a bit of time doing the rest of uh, these, like the eyebrows and the eyelashes, what I would do, unless I wanted to change any of these shaders, I would just box select, holding my left mouse button down, these four here, then right click and select copy. So let's do, or I don't know, let's do the eyelashes. So I'm going to select the eyelashes. I'll remove these by selecting them and deleting them. Then right click and select paste. Connect the color from your image into diffuse and the alpha into the fac. And you should end up with some nice looking eyelashes. Do the same for the eyebrows by selecting them. Color to diffuse, alpha to fac, and you could do the same for the hair. And the only thing I can see perhaps you might want to think about improving is the eyes. Now with eyes, it's a bit difficult, um, depends on how your lighting is set up. If you select your eyes, all I would do 
on the eyes and this has got nothing to do with transparency but keep the principled BSDF and then you've got something here called roughness if I can find it yeah just drag this down and depending on where your light is coming from you can improve your eyes by just changing the roughness and that's all I'm going to do really the point of this um, exercise was just to show you how you can make something that is supposed to be or sections are supposed to be transparent actually look transparent hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers